About a couple years ago, this happened to me on my sophomore year of high school. Now, it was sometime around maybe October, nearly close to Thanksgiving in Canada. We were in, I was in school. Now, since lockdown drill, we did a practice drill at least the other day. We were having just a normal day at school. I was doing my work as usual and etc. But as I was doing my work one day, all of a sudden the intercom came on and it was the principal saying that there was somebody in coming into our school and that was about to break down and that there was the lockdown drill is happening. Now with that being said, I we all actually hid in the corner with the with our teacher escorting us there in the classroom. We stayed in there what seemed to be a while. But as we were in the classroom, have five minutes turned into ten, then eventually into twenty, and it was close to an hour, where by at least, at least when it turned into forty minutes, we did not know who or what was in the school until whoever it was came to our door and started banging on the door, screaming like a madman. I honestly thought that this guy was going to break down the door any second now, but all of a sudden cops arrived and there was shouting and screaming. I obviously had no idea who it was, but eventually whoever it was and took the ban away. And of course, with that said, our, our parents had told us to go pick up our kids, so I was basically sent home early. The next day, we went to school and of course, what else happened was something. Apparently a man who was friends with the principal, but was mentally unstable, and he had bipolar disorder, and got a gun, and he somehow went over to the school and shot two students and a teacher. Luckily, they survived. But this story obviously gets me chills when I think about this story. Every time I think about school lockdowns, I always think about this incident, knowing that someone could have been killed if nobody had reported it sooner. This happened to be in high school sometime in 2016 and this was obviously a very freaky story, an unexplainable one at that. In our high school we had a pretty decent library. We had a computer lab in one corner, at least a few dens in the room, and we have at least hundreds of books. There was even been a little sensory room in it. I went to the library as I was trying to look for some good books to work on my history project. As I was looking around, around, I asked the librarian for certain books with certain names. So I was doing like a little high school project, which was a geography class project. So with that said, my teacher pointed at the areas where the books would be. And eventually I moved on and I went to the library in the other more library very books as i was going through the library books thinking of which one to take when all of a sudden i heard someone or something saying my name i turned around but i couldn't find anybody there was no barely anybody in here there was only a few people on the computers and some on you know reading some books from on tables but i didn't know who that voice was i began to get a little nervous so I decided to just maybe play it cool. I grabbed up a few books and decided to read them. them. But as I was exiting out, I heard a voice that said, They're coming. This was obviously like a whisper. I obviously couldn't really hear it, but it was a really disturbing sound. Someone or something was in the library, but I couldn't seem to find anybody. There was only a few people in there, so I decided to just brush it off. I checked out the books and began to read them, them on a desk not far in the library, but eventually I looked to see that a book was falling off from the shelf. I didn't see anyone took a book, but that was kind of strange. I picked up the book and put it back on the shelf, but however, another book was taken out, and then most of the books fell down. For some odd reason, who or what it was, was, was playing with me. But I eventually picked up the books and put them back. But then eventually I heard a leap. I heard what seemed to be a cackle from a woman. 
I obviously was very disturbed. I did not want to even think about what this creature or whoever it was was there. I didn't even know if this was paranormal or not. I took my books and my stuff and I ended up going to read them in another room. I obviously was horrified to this day. I don't know if this was paranormal or not, but whoever it was in there or whatever I experienced in there that day was probably paranormal. This took place in June of 2020, during the global pandemic. Now, my brother was going to his high school to collect his stuff as the, our state was on lock, as our country was on lockdown at the time. And of course, school had been turned to online shortly halfway the, through the year. Now, so my brother ended up going inside the school so he can get what he, well, his stuff. I went with him as my mom wanted me to take the dog out for a walk. I didn't want to go, but my mom insisted I do, so I took my dog and I went down with my brother. It was about maybe a few minutes walk from our house. It wasn't that far. So we decided to pick up some pizza after we went to down there. So as my brother went inside the school, I was waiting for him on the exit with my dog and we he was just sniffing around, rolling around in the grass and etc. As I was waiting for my brother, I looked over to see that there was a man. He didn't look like he was a principal or anybody. He looked as if I never knew him. He walked over towards me and I started to get creepy vibes about this dude. I had no idea who he was or why he was here. I was thinking maybe his son or daughter for that matter was here or perhaps he might be somebody from the school. I didn't go to school anymore so I am not sure how it could be this person. But whoever it was walked up towards me and even my, my, my dog and he said, Oh hey, um, what are you doing here? He asked me. I started to get a little nervous, mainly because I could notice that something was not right about this dude. Something was really offsetting. I couldn't really put my finger on it, but it was something that I really had no idea what this guy was doing here. I said, oh, my brother is in school and, well, getting this stuff and my mom wanted me to go with him. He said, oh, well, I'm just waiting for my kids. They're in school too getting their stuff. So what brings you here? He asked me. He tried to get into awkward conversation, so I played along with him by asking him how he was doing and what he did for a living and etc. Of course, when my brother came out, I thanked him and told him that I'll see him later. And that, I just ended with this. However, it wasn't until, May until my brother and I were leaving when this guy the same guy that I was talking to walked up to me and my brother. He said, Hey, um, I can give you a ride if you want. I can give you guys a ride back to my house. As he was following towards his car, I looked closely to see that there it looked like at least enough at least two men in the car. I could see her clearly in the back of a seat. I told my brother we need to get out of here, so we ran ran as fast as we could out of the high school until we got back to our neighborhood. As soon as we got to the pizza joints, the man didn't follow us, which I was glad they didn't follow us. I told my mom about this, and my mom said that that guy had been luring younger kids, mainly high schoolers, into going with them to get, to get rides. Of course, this guy was wanted for murder and even kidnapping younger teens. Unfortunately, he was never caught, and it still f terrifies me knowing that he's still out there somewhere. I really hope he gets what he deserves. This happened to a janitor about maybe a few months ago, back when I used to go to a high school. Now, this happened to him sometime in 2015 in the summer. School was just out and, of course, it was around maybe the July. Of course, the custodians came into the school at least a few times a week a few times a month just to sit there and make sure everything was clean. Even though high school had just been let out for the summer, the, my Kasonian friend, which we'll call him Mac, was just doing his usual job. It was on one of the days he had to come in for a night shift as most of the other staff members were off work and either one who was supposed to come 
to first shift, but unfortunately was, well, basically he was busy. So with that said, Mark ended up having to go up to, to the school. And of course he went in the school and did his night shift. As he was doing his night shift, it was around maybe 9 p.m. when he saw someone or something looking at him from the stairway. Of course, he was at the stairway of the forum, just mopping up the floor, when he could see someone looking at him through the, well, front door. He had really good eyesight at the time, so he could see that there was a man. He wasn't sure why this man was there, but he said, Oh, sorry, dude, we're closed. He said, Of course, this man didn't seem to be phased by it. He just looked at the Mac, giving him, like, an unsettling smile. Mark obvi Mac obviously didn't know what this guy was doing, why he was here, and what was he wanting to do, and why did he want to come into school. He just stared at him uncontrollably. The front door of the school was locked, so he only he had the key to get in. But this man walked away, leaving Mark confu Mac confused. Why was this guy wanting to get in the door? There was like no reason why he would be wanting in the door and plus the school wasn't open to the public with the exception of some custodians but he ended up looking over to see that this man ended up look end up going to another door he started screaming like crazy mac obviously ended up calling the cops but when the cops arrived the man was already gone he didn't know what this man was doing or why he was there trying to get in my get in that school or my old high school but this was obviously something we never expected however whatever that being the case the police had had basically well the police had basically decided to sit there and patrol the area but they never found the man even if the one that Mac described they still couldn't find it and with that said and that being the case this guy has never returned to school again, and Mac ended up quitting his job as a janitor and never did the night shifts again.